<clears throat> Phil and I. What's Trinidad James doing right now? You said what? I wonder what Trinidad James is doing. He right got now. like a shoe podcast. Do he? Yeah. Hmm. Or or man, or, or like nothing. a high end shoe. Still store or going like off that one song. No, I don't even yeah. give a fuck about that song. But anyway, really, that shit made him. What yeah. up, what up, what up? Welcome to episode 165 of Where the Weird Ones Podcast. I go by the name of Keenan. We got Johnny in the building. What we do? got Lindarry in the building. Present. And we got Chris in the building. Yo, what's up? I just want to let y'all know, Lindarry's drinking lean again. <laughs> <laughs> lean dairy. The purple drink. <laughs> I'm pretty sure they know I don't do drugs. So, I'm not sweating. You don't wear socks. I do wear socks. You got socks on today? Prove it. Straight, yeah. straight dope thing. I want to say oh. it was chilly today. You better yeah, have socks on. That's what you don't wear, guys. Wow. <laughs> you got your shower, man. <laughs> Damn. Can, I, can we zoom in on that? Can, can I shower before the pod, man? That motherfucker ankle says Caesar is home. Don't do You know how you get in the shower, you get that cold air and it hits you like... <laughs> <laughs> It was the winter. <laughs> it was the winter. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, winter's shit. coming. <laughs> oh, shit. How the, y'all been, man? What they call them on the, what was that, the Where Out There show? The Game of Thrones? Game of Thrones. Oh, the Frozen the frozen Giants? White Walkers. The White, White Walkers, Walkers, yeah. yeah. And my wife's going to wear socks today, too, man. I was like, I don't need no socks. They checked that temp, like, oh, it might be chilly. No, nah, they was just there. right there. And I'm like, why is what? They sitting right there. Oh, mm-hmm. might as well. Yeah. <laughs> Guess I'll put on draws today, they right? The <laughs> <laughs> that lotion, though. Nah, nah fuck that. <laughs> nah. Moisture, nah. I, I put on some lotion, though, man. You know what I'm Bro, saying? I just don't want you to be that old black nigga with that that heel with an angle on it. You know what I'm saying? Because it's so dry, that motherfucker got a chapped up and shit. Champed up, <laughs> chapped gout. You know what I'm saying? Oh, that gout? chapped up, gout. <laughs> I ain't got Yo, gout. That both bad those. shit, man. I can't get the calluses. So how y'all? How was y'all week, man? How was everybody's week? It was good. Another day, another dollar, man. I was amazed. I met a white Ron- Rodney. That's pretty good. I don't yeah. think I've I ever feel like met that's good stuff. Rodney. You did it. I did, did it. it. He's probably like forty-five too. Oh, he been Rodney for a long time. Yeah. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> All these things are true. Like as long as he's been Rodney a day, it's good enough, man. Yeah. I mean, I black Rodney, a white Rodney, and a white Tyrone. We find a white Lindari. We got him. Y'all seen a white Tyrone? <laughs> I yeah. never seen a white Tyrone. I know a white Tyrone. He worked. He worked on the construction crews. I don't know him. Mm, never you, seen that. You I know a white Tyrell that worked on the. Wait, Tyrell. Sure oh yeah. Tyrell. Okay. Tyrell. Okay. Tyrell. 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 He wasn't like mixed. Nah. Nah. He was so a farm mama boy. Like the he was a farm though. boy. Yeah. Right. Farm boy. Yeah. Old Pine Bluffs. What? Yeah, <laughs> like milking cows. What does it look like? We were saying black Connor. We looking for you. Yeah, we looking, we looking for, for you, bro. You. A black Connor. Yeah. So your week was pretty good. It was fucking boring. It was boring. Dang. Yeah. That what sucks. about your week, man? My week was cool. What was, was boring? Cool. I'm tired. It really, I didn't. You know, nothing really happened this weekend. So it, was it was just like right just, here. It was like, oh, I gotta go to work. It was, then I got to hold work. on. It was a uh, office. Mundane. M- mundane. <laughs> Fuck! I knew it. When he did this, I said he about to. He about to. Do. I knew he. I, I'm like, thinking right. in my head when you reach for that motherfucker, but you can't get it. I'm thinking in my head he about to say mundane, but it ain't gonna come out right. So your week was just Rondane. <laughs> Rondane. Rondane. Well, that's the running back. <laughs> oh god, uh, man. that's funny. Oh, nah, you know some weeks just kind of like uh, they just drag ass. You just you just. Going through the motions a Yeah bit. Going living, to the office Living for Friday Only fucking car In the parking lot You're like Oh this is oh, crazy oh, that's, bad. that's racist as hell that's I ain't bad. never seen that before I mean it's some work vehicles But I work on one side Of the building So I go in there And literally There's nobody there But me Yeah, I, I, never I don't even turn the before. lights so I just go sit down With my cappuccino <laughs> One is the loneliest yeah. number. Yeah, I don't think I've ever crazy that. shit. Not I mean, I've been working in the office. What about you? You went to the, the new taco spot. One, I just need one chair, one seat. I did for I was lunch. By myself, lunch date by yourself. I do that often. Yeah, yeah I it, thought it was what? it was peaceful. To those a sit down or, restaurant. Those oros. I just did that last week by myself. Those oros. Oh, those oros. I, I used to the spot. I actually used to do that at uh. I used to go to Nisi's almost every morning. I went to the shack by myself. I do it all. I, I, I'm, I'm about to say, be, that's not strange going to I'm going to be doing, doing it more often. By myself it's not time, a problem. Bro. If you go to the movies by yourself, that's a little... I've do done that. that before, too. Oh, y'all lonely. 
Oh, that's my shit, boy. That's I, ain't shit. I haven't done nothing. it since I've been married, but I, done, I went to go see Eight Mile by myself. Really? Yeah. Oh, okay. If it's a good movie and I'm like, I really want to see that, I'm definitely going to I went to go myself. see no Creed by myself in uh, San Francisco. Yeah. Oh, well, that's different. You were stranded. You were. <laughs> All this can be true. I still did it. Yeah. I still did it. <laughs> oh, man. Nah, I'm, I wouldn't go to the drive in by myself. That'd be kind of. Well, that's crazy. a little better than going to that's the movies wild. by yourself because you're in the drive in. Nah, because the movies, like, I can't. The movies be like, dude, I ain't got shit to do today. I'm chilling. I ain't got no kids. What am I do? I'm about to go watch a movie. Give me some fucking nachos. I only got about one. I mean, I mean, it's, it's, not, it's not bad. That's true. Definitely cheaper, for sure. It's not bad. And then when my kids be like, hey, let's watch this movie on like F Moves, I'd be like, I ain't never seen that. Let's watch it. You just you, play, so you're, you're a liar. You're a liar. You lie no, to your I'm kids. Like, no, let's watch it. Let's go. And then you be sitting there like, oh, here go. <laughs> <laughs> Do y'all lie to your kids? All the time. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> uh, look at Johnny. Like, I don't what? even think I've told my son like Santa's not real yet. Mm-hmm. I think I think my older daughter finally. Knows. I don't. I don't think we ever told him Santa was a real person. Yeah. My Between daughter, the whole elf on the shelf thing, I was like, I'm just gonna ride this one out. But you know, he's kind of figuring it out on his own. Yeah. Like that. You know, last Christmas we had a fire and Santa didn't get burnt up. Or is he gonna come back? I'm like, I don't know. Maybe probably had a fire extinguisher or something. <laughs> fire extinguisher. Y'all be having fires? Yeah, I got a fireplace. You got a fireplace, bro. You thought his house was on fire? That's what it sounded like. I mean, what? You, you need talking some, about like Santa got caught on fire? Or you need some sleep. If he come down at the chimney, yeah. Hey, let's go to our first story. <laughs> <laughs> well, anyway, how was your week? My week yeah. started off pretty damn good. Oh. I think he was waiting for someone to ask. Him. I kind of was. Bro. Oh, well, fuck! Into? God damn! Go just tell us. You got I it. spotted the out. goat. I seen the goat with my own two eyes. The goat, Jordan, Jay Z, right oh. in the flesh. That's a goat. That's a goat for you right there. That's amazing. Fuck the rest of the show. I saw Jay Z. Yeah. <laughs> That's crazy. But That's nah, a goat. A nah, goat of goats. Uh, my wife called me today and was like, you know what? That was probably the best thing you've ever done for me. You know, oh. the best gift you've ever given me. I was Damn, like, you, know you gave her a kid for a, a, a monetary gift, nigga. <laughs> In my head, you just wear all kind of money. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, she said she, she said thank you. You know, she really appreciated that experience. It was fun. We had fun. That's what's up. Had a good time. What time did you get home? I heard it was three o'clock for some people. No, I got home by one thirty. No, early. Let's talk about the real question. Was you singing alone? I don't know half of those songs. The that half that you do though. though. Yeah, I knew it. You try to hit me. So I don't know those songs. That <laughs> me and <laughs> Beyonce. <laughs> me and Beyonce was we be all night. <laughs> That's so you was like, oh, 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 oh. oh. No, nah, I wasn't. That's, that, that's crazy. That's Bro, crazy. somebody come out with some footage of you just in there like, uh-oh. We, I'm like, <laughs> we got to talk about some contracts. Right? <laughs> <laughs> I'm Think like, Keith is no longer a member of the Weird Ones podcast. <laughs> she put on a hell of a show, man. It was pretty, it was pretty damn I would hope so. It was pretty damn good. Though. You know, and I didn't know as many celebrities there as it was. Hmm. There was a lot of celebrities there. I know I Kansas one. City Cardi B was there I seen Cardi Why did they the choose high. The Kansas City show It was the last it one It was the last one oh. Houston was but She was supposed to end In Houston but I think she moved this show For it got delayed event Or something It got delayed For something oh. COVID man But uh <laughs> yeah, I seen real, they man. took Cardi to Hot Topic Town Topic Town Topic Yeah, yeah that's she what said she was. Was. They got the bitch A shirt or what <laughs> she, huh? she said she was In the slums <laughs> They took Cardi To Town Topic Yeah, yeah. she was like Dancing in the middle of Broadway. Yeah. What? Yeah. Where was I at? At home, nigga. It was Sunday. So he was probably at <laughs> he home was watching at, a football game. He was definitely watching the football yeah, game. Yeah, well. But she didn't come out to like 10. Yeah, because they said the traffic was all the way. It was fucked up. Because we were supposed to go. We, we left the house at like right at 6. What time was it supposed to start? 8. Okay. So, so I'm thinking I mean, that's two hours. You did. That's you, good. Yeah. I'm thinking 6. I can go get something to eat. I get there. I'm like, I, I get out in traffic. I'm like, we might want to go hit that line. She was like, "Well, we hungry." I was like, "I'm gonna have to bite the bullet. We're gonna have to buy some in the in the, in the uh, Arrowhead." Worst decision I ever made. I paid about sixty bucks for some chicken tenders and fries, my nigga. <laughs> yeah, when they're wrong, I said, "Holy yeah. shit!" <laughs> this is part of the experience, bro. <laughs> it was kind of cool to be on the field, though. You know, yeah. I was on the on the turf and shit. You, you, you cool. didn't step on the logo, did you? It was covered up, my nigga. Cool. 
I couldn't get that far. They don't let people step on the logo. I mean, because Zach Wilson was all on the logo. All right, our first Slinging story, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> Spinning news all week. They've been on a manhunt for some motherfucker in Philadelphia mm. who jumped on a woman's windshield, busted the windshield in. Luckily, since her windows was tinted, the glass didn't break all over her kids that were in the back seat. So is the is the glass in the back the windshield too? I thought just the front was the windshield. I don't know. Oh, now we get that. How long? Now you're going to something. I mean, because theoretically, what do you the call windshield that? is coming at you. You, to block, you, you the block, block the wind. windshield in the wind yeah. in front I of you. I want to say that's just... Well, what if you're driving backwards? Oh! It's the wind. It turns into the windshield. So does the front window turn into the back window? Oh, yeah. Somebody let us know. Somebody Somebody call it. Hey, comment. Hold on, man. That's a Google of the <laughs> Whatever it was, this guy jumped on it. It smashed in. It was tinted, so the glass got didn't the video? break everywhere. The, the bing video. Video. Bing. bing. But Cody Harrell, 26, <laughs> faces multiple counts of aggravated assault, reckless endangerment, mm. and possession of an instrument of crime. Mm. Hmm. That seems that like they can do anything with that. It is called that feels like a... the rear windshield. Oh, oh there we go. What? Or the rear glass or the rear window glass. I got so much fucking knowledge, man. That should just call it the rear rear shield. I know it. I know this is gonna come up yeah. some corner. You know what? <laughs> I realize white people are corny. <laughs> corny. Damn! Not just me. He caught up my whole race. All of y'all. <laughs> hey, bro. I think we knew that like back in the bro. I felt like I was Stone on the ages. set of a, a, a Will Ferrell show today, bro. Like I was like, this shit is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Before we get sidetracked, I love you. I love you, white people. You yeah. Go. So basically, this guy, there was a bunch it's of bikes out there, bikes, four wheelers. The woman driving got into it with somebody on one of the bikes or four wheelers, and this guy decided he was going to show his ass. He showed him his feet, basically. Mm. So he jumps up and down on the windshield, smashes it in. You can see in the video, the woman gets out the car and confronts him. Dummy dropped his pistol. Come on. <laughs> Dummy would have been dead. What type of holder holster you got, bro? Like, first, let's discuss. It that. looked like he just had it in his waistband. Did you think he just had it yeah. in there? Like, yeah. no holster? Yeah. Definitely yeah. probably did. It, hey, you, what'd you have it in when you was at the at the job that day? It was swinging all around when you was walking drunk up the stairs. Back in the day at the city, you said you was jogging up the stairs, getting the clock in, and you felt it was the, in my holster. I was in your holster. Yeah. Oh. I thought you just had it. Yeah, in the city. No, I never. Just, I always had a <laughs> Thought I was a good like <laughs> nah. At this point, twenty twenty three, you can't just try to just tuck it in, uh, you know, in the waist. No, nah, man. Or That's tie great. it to your drawstring. Banging in Little Rock, nigga. <laughs> 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 so Cody Heron, first off, like they should charge you for not having a holster. You drop me. Maybe you did, and you just got scared and dropped your pistol when you started getting out or whatever. But no, nah, it looked like it fell out when he jumped off the car. Yeah. Yeah, then he definitely didn't have no. Let me, nah, Cody, you be know. dead, boy. So, Johnny, where are your thoughts? Cody would have been. He would have got his wings that day. <laughs> Especially dropping the pistol. You, Hold on. I'm going to draw the slow motion. Probably would have got, got it with your own pistol. I'm going to draw the slow motion look there. I need the sound effects. Come on, man. <laughs> you going to leave me out to dry like that? Dude? Especially with my <laughs> babies in the back. Especially with yeah. the babies in the back. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. With that the back. kids? Boy, that XD coming out screaming, boy. <laughs> I've been waiting all my days. <laughs> the video didn't go back far enough. Like, what did she do? I don't like, know cut what him she off did to him. I bet you she so, probably got too So it says control. in here, she was arguing with what some, it wasn't, our, her argument was not actually with him. It was with the guy in front of him. So if you watch the video, you can see it's a guy in front of yeah. him on a bike next to her window. And that's what she's like going back and forth with. He basically takes it upon himself, like, nah, that's my man's. Fuck that. Let me do what he I'm going to do. Against yeah. a mama of two? Yeah. I kind of feel like that's know. some whole shit. That's, that's. Yeah. I guarantee you, like, he knew. He, I, mean, I, I guarantee he knew it was a woman. Yeah, oh, yeah. I'm and saying, he like, because he wouldn't have did that. The windows are tinted, though, so he don't know what's he going on. He didn't know the kids were in no, there. No, no, you don't he know what's going on in the back, but I guarantee you. But still, I don't mean, if I'm the driver. Now, what if you had to have some, some, some. Thuggish, rush, thuggish, ruggish bone niggas back then. They just came out and just... Yeah, he wouldn't have did it. Switch cheese, but the windows tinted. He ain't know. No, I I'm mean... I'm just saying, you would have... So, you the windows like, were tinted. Up. You know, you thought you was all tough because it was a woman. But... No, nah, I don't think... 
he was just probably trying to run off or some shit. But I feel like, nah. Like he would he wouldn't known who was in the back no matter what. But if it would have been a dude driving, he ain't jumping on. No That's true. That's car. true. Yeah, the yeah, the yeah. lady screaming at the other like, guy. He ain't gonna have that, that same energy. Yeah. Now you now you tough as a woman. Yeah. Then she, you still let her get out and push you over on your fucking bike. Yeah. But she kind of looked like a dude though. She did. That's what she did. Yeah. Bro, what the fuck? <laughs> she did. Just cause she had her hair braided or something? <laughs> she, she looked a little bit niggerish. A little. <laughs> <laughs> have, y'all, have y'all seen the meme? <laughs> Why they call s- No. I don't know if we should venture into it. Oh no, I this feel like we're going crazy. into yeah, some yeah, other like, parts. Like, Oh, that's fair. <laughs> I'm not laughing. <laughs> that's uh, fair. <laughs> moving along. What is wrong with y'all? What the fuck? Uh, is she did get canceled? though, but still, fuck them. No they matter go. the, no matter what, like man. So she was out there trying to do some Uber Eats deliveries and shit, make a little side hustle oh, with the kids, she was? with yeah. the kids in the car. I seen that before. She was doing that shit. Little Uber Eats deliveries, man. Oh man. Take I mean, your kid to work you gotta do what you gotta do. Keep Take the your kids to work. Yeah, I've seen that. I've seen mean, people pull up here with the kids but in the it car. Don't, but I mean, it makes sense. Yeah. Well, I yeah. pay for a babysitter when yeah. I can just ride yeah. on road with when you know kids be wanting to do shit. Can I come? Yeah. yeah. Sure. I ain't never heard a kid that can I come? For God sure. damn. That's a, every kid in America right there. Every black kid in America. Can I come? No, just one fucking word. You didn't want to look over your shoulder. What, you there? Hear the, the keys jingle. Where you going? So she said one of the bikers hit her car. They were arguing back and forth. So after that, his friend in front of me or whatever, she's arguing with the friend in front of her because he hit her car. They're going back and forth. And then this cocksucker wants to show his ass and jump on the windshield, rear windshield of her vehicle. So they posted his face all over the TV and shit everywhere in Philadelphia. Hey, we're looking for this guy. We taking this serious. He also headbutted her with his helmet. He did. Yeah. He Just did. a whole bunch of sucker shit. The yeah, rest of y'all suckers too, first of all. A bitch all that protect black nigga. women and shit. And he jumping on motherfucking cars and shit. Yeah. Was he black? No. no this dude was from the caucuses. Yeah. He oh. want to be, you know. Well, I mean? Why do he look Hispanic? He, he, he I don't even did, know where I, I, I thought where he I, had a little tin on Hey, look, I don't even know where I could, where I'm pulling that from, but for some reason, I feel like he was, he looked. Well, his skin kind of looked white, but we didn't see his face either, though. So. No, they had a whole, like, uh, I shouldn't have deleted the pictures out of here. They had his mug shot? Oh, they yeah. didn't catch him yet. That's him right there? That's him from the caucus. Oh, uh, yeah, he is. He looked like Caesar. He looked yeah. like a Kyle. He Caesar. <laughs> he from the caucus. <laughs> <laughs> but he was actually turned in by his boss. Damn. Oh, yeah, boss. Story says his boss, you know, recognized him from TV. And what do you work why, at? Why, why you would at? you do that? Because you know he's not coming to work tomorrow. Right. Well, because you don't we want you don't you right don't want there. him to come to work for it to be a distraction either. Nah, because you know you know this day nowadays like people find out like oh who he is and where he work at then they, they like, pull oh, up boycotting your shit. That's what I'm saying. Or they they like, pull up. What type of what type of people Cody y'all like hire? That. Y'all yeah, hiring them type of people? Exactly. That's what happens. Like, what when the Twitter police get on you? It's your it's your ass. Ex police, but yeah, yeah. Don't like they call it that. I know like ex get on you. I noticed that it says X, formerly known as Twitter. Oh, because people still call it Twitter, so you might as well. It's still Twitter. Yeah. We'll it says be. his employer reached out, was one of the people that reached out to the police, mm-hmm. but they never named his employer. So they probably say, look, I don't want to get involved, but that's that's motherfucker Cody. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's him. He always thinks so he's he snitching. No, hell no. He just setting a record straight. No, not even that. You a civilian, bro. What do you mean? All right. Like, if your wife was in the car, you'd be like, yo, we want justice and shit. Uh, and well, what honestly, if you ain't got nothing to do with either person in the situation? Are you just like, it's him? Or you just see the mug shot. Yeah. Yeah, like, that's fucking dude that just yeah. fixed my brakes, bro. Yo, that's a dude at Meineke right there. That's him. <laughs> Meineke. <laughs> Meineke. That's random. <laughs> Straight up. Because, <laughs> I mean, like, he's out there with all these dudes on bikes, so somebody noticed, motherfucker. No, well, right. yeah. So if it's me, I'm like, look, bro, like y'all gonna tell me who he is, or it's it's whatever. It's y'all take his punishment. Yeah. It's up. So like you know him, you know him. Fuck you. Fuck, I'm smacking motherfuckers in their helmets and shit. <laughs> <laughs> what? You gonna try to bust glass on my fucking babies? <laughs> Hell no. Nah. It's, it's like happening. I said, that XD gonna be it's happening. screaming coming up yeah. out that bad boy. If I'm in the car, yeah, we just count that one out. Like, Where the daddy at? It's happening. Of the kids. 
what the fuck, dude? I don't know where, where dude. He probably at work. <laughs> fuck it. What you mean? What you saying? Just asking. Mm-mm. We can't do that with my kids in the car. That's a Which, extra Like, you do that with it's just me. We tussling. But you do that with the kids in the car, yeah. Nigga, she was actually I don't went care too who's far. In the car. She was actually it. pretty calm, according I to probably me. ain't gonna yeah. come out firing on you though if it's just me. Like we can box. No. But like nigga, when my baby's in the car, oh, I'm jumping out, I'm hitting your ass. What's the first thing you saying, Johnny? Scrub. I don't even know. <laughs> no. I'm like, as soon as you do like the one first jump. thing out of my mouth, like bitch ass nigga, what's the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> what is your Johnny, problem? How about, how about, hey buddy. <laughs> Nah, hey, pal. Ain't that. Hey, buddy, what's your problem? <laughs> I was just telling somebody that. I was just telling the wifey that. Like, at work, <laughs> the niggas that work in the cafeteria, they look like they like... Maybe white, a, white people or... It's mixed. You got white people. You got Mexicans. You got so they white all... People. You it's just, a group in there. It's you group. call the group... Yeah. The M-bomb. It's, yeah. Okay. Bro, why you calling it a bomb? What? Like it's but uh it's the white dude in there is where I get my breakfast from, you know what I'm saying? He'd be like happy the white, to, the white chef? Yeah. Oh, no. But he'd be like happy to see me because he can talk normal and to me. It, I mean, he ain't gonna call me that, but <laughs> just shorter than but that. But you though. feel me though. He's his favorite black friend. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like he come in or favorite, I walk in, I'm like, What's up, face? bro? You're like, My boy, what's good? Hey. But everybody else is like, Hey, how you doing? Yeah, uh, you know what I'm saying? You got the black. So, yeah. <laughs> so he's like hey. afternoon, my So afternoon. he gets like that. <laughs> you took that? I was just telling <laughs> I was just telling the missus, like, yeah, he probably be waiting for me to come just so he can be normal for Pause. five. I mean, Pause. yeah, Paul. You're yeah. right. Pause. You're right, you're right. right. That is right. crazy. You know what I'm saying though. Wait for me to show up. <laughs> so he could be like, yo. <laughs> Carry on, man. I can't tell you niggas nothing. <laughs> and what does he what does he make for you? His meat? Nah, bro. That's crazy. <laughs> yeah, y'all get Boy, you something else. You right. chop up that meat for you. Let's move on. More the story. I'm glad they caught this motherfucker. Don't be an asshole. And I hope they whoop your ass in jail. Okay. So I bet you it's kind of like that South Park clip that I just sent. Or he be talking about gay people in the other word. Oh, yeah. Uh, uh, let's just... <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We know what's what's let's about. move yeah. on to the next thing we're going to talk about. We talked about this a while ago. Y'all remember Lady Gaga, her dog walker got shot in the chest when he was walking her dogs? Yeah, we well, had that on early Somebody stories. basically popped him in the chest and took the dog. Yeah. Did they hold the dogs for ransom? These... I don't... I'm trying to remember the story. They took the dog. I don't remember it all That's the way. actually pretty genius. If you do that. I don't know if they held him for ransom, but she came out and said, look, I'm going to give a half a million dollar reward for a safe return of my dogs. What's genius? No questions asked. If you hold her dogs for ransom and get, get the pay. That is pretty. I mean, it's probably less time than kidnapping a real person. Yeah. Besides the fact you shot that man in the chest. I don't yeah. know. People love dogs. You saw Mike Vick. Man. He did his hard, he did hard like time. Year, he killed a lot of dogs, yeah, too. I mean, hard he only time. got a year. Easy money. Do that on the shitter. <laughs> I do that on the shitter. You know what I mean? <laughs> no, so one of the women that came forward with the dog. Women's? One of the women's. So you made the women's plural. One of the women. You're right. Okay, yeah. No, a woman came forward hey. with the dog. <laughs> Tenth grade history here, baby. She said, here go your dog. I like to collect my reward. English literature. But it turns out that she was related to the people, or she was involved with the people that stole the dogs. Who was involved with the people? The woman that returned the dog. So basically, we still... These guys stole the dog. And mm-hmm. then told their sister to take the dog And then back. basically what they did, they said, we're going to leave the dogs at this pole right here. Then you just happen to find them, return them, and you get the half million dollars. Theoretically. And split it. Mm. Hmm. That was their plan. Smart. I mean. Some niggas been watching too much TV. Yeah, but obviously they <laughs> fucked something up. It's kind of a up, smart plan, though. No, they always get caught when they do the park The shit. woman's well, name yeah. was Jennifer McBride, but she ended up getting caught up with the guys. They all got caught up by the police and shit. She was convicted in the plot to steal the damn dogs. So then Lady Gaga basically said, well, I, basically, bitch, I'm not paying you. You stole the dogs. Yeah. You said no questions asked. That's what she said. Yeah. She said, hold on, bitch. <laughs> you said no questions asked. Now you get all these goddamn questions. So the woman, Jennifer McBride, sued Lady Gaga in court. And a judge, God damn, boy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. We got him. Look at him showing it Sound it out. Sound it out. I don't Fuji? know if that's how you say that. Me, judge, like Fuji. I what thought that, but I'm like, Fuji's, F-U-G-E-E-S. Fuji's. Fuji's. Nigga, that's the nigga way. <laughs> <one. laughs> 
So Judge Holly J. Fuji said Lady Gaga was not responsible for paying McBride the half million dollar reward nor any money for alleged damages in emotional distress. This bitch sued for emotional distress. Mm. After you tried, they to always lie? put that in there. Yeah, they do. They always you do after you shot the man. She didn't do it. They did it. The judge said no one can take advantage of his own wrong. The judge wrote in the ruling. The plaintiff must come to court with clean hands and keep them clean or be denied relief regardless of the merits of the claim. So basically the judge said, bitch, we're not paying you because you stole the damn mm-hmm. dogs. Why but it also you wasn't right. you can take it to court, though? Because but she, she said. did say no, no questions asked, though. But, I'd be like, like judge, honestly, this I think it's wrong. wrong. But isn't it writing, though? Got, I think she yes. should have got paid. Oh. What is the, the no question asked in writing? No, it's if you say it out loud in on TV for everybody to hear, it's verbal contract, man. Oh, she said it in TV. Sorry. Well, that's fucking <laughs> wild. <laughs> I don't remember the whole story, but she said it where people knew because she put it out there. I'm giving uh, 500000 oh, no questions sorry, asked sorry. for these funky-ass dogs. I need some water. For Koji and Gustav. I'll be like, well, I'm taking them damn dogs back. Gustav. Gustav. Yeah, I feel like that's, uh, <laughs> like she owed her that $500,000. For sure. Me personally. Because you said no questions asked. That's your. Yeah, that's if, you, if you wouldn't have said that, if you said I'm giving 500000 for the safe return of my dogs, and then I return your dogs, but I'm the one that stole your dogs, it's like, nah, bro. Was it my dogs or for all the dogs? Yeah, but once you say no questions <laughs> asked, that just be like, yo, whoever did it, I don't even care about what you I did. I just want my dogs back. I just back. want my dogs back. And yeah. I'd be like, they ain't even get the joke. I'm like, get my damn dogs back then. These my dogs now. I mean, I don't know if you go get that. Got them once, I'll get them again. <laughs> <laughs> sure. You got another walker, I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> he gone. <laughs> The one McBride is 53, yeah. So this one of them things. She's so like, I'm dude, old. Did that dude die? I think I I, no, I don't think he died. No. He didn't die. But McBride's 53, so she's an older woman, probably thinking, like, yo, this might come up, you know. Man, me too. They sitting around. What do 53 year old people drink? Like Gin. What do 53 year old people drink, Chris? Gin. Gin. Oh. So she's probably sitting around drinking bumpy face. Oof. Thinking, hey, this I know work. how we can make some money. This could work. Just yeah. And these fucking idiots are probably like, yeah, mm-hmm. we would have got away with it. <laughs> yeah, for these darn kids. <laughs> <laughs> so it said McBride knew the father of one of the suspects. L.A. County Deputy Attorney Michael Hasley said, so she knew the father. Somehow they tracked this back to her. Boy, these police be kind of good at their job sometimes when they want to be. I'm like, what that got so. to do with anything? They be kind of good. I know the boy's daddy. That means they probably got the daddy in the room, turned up the air, and gave that man, like, a Coke. Or some McDonald's. And he's probably like, man, I ain't going to tell y'all McBride did it or nothing, but we ain't here for me, man. <laughs> <laughs> Knocking on his little glass. Hey! Hey, it's cold in here. <laughs> That's how they got you to snitch? Never told on nobody in my life, except uh-huh. to my mama. Hmm. Gotta know who I'm partying with. Wait, like, I wouldn't snitch, but I would definitely report a crime. Like, you set I'm, the record straight. I'm an honest uh, citizen now. Like, okay. Yeah, I'll be like, yo, you park in front of my house too long, I'll call 911. Like, I don't know who this car is out here, but. Okay. Have you ever called 911? At War Parkway Mall? No, I don't think so. 911. Wow. <laughs> really? I was with you, fool. You did it. You called. <laughs> what? <laughs> Think you know. <laughs> so the woman McBride said, basically, you owe me this five hundred million dollars because I didn't steal your dogs. I did take possession of the dogs, knowing they were stolen, but that was only for safekeeping, and so I could return them to you, which I did. That's my five hundred. I don't remember how long the dogs were gone for. It wasn't that long, though. This was like a news cycle for like a week or some shit. What episode was that? We talked about that. I'd have to go back and look, but... Usually you give a, a guess, a guesstimate. Mm-mm, no. Uh. So I feel like this woman got robbed out of half a million dollars. We Me talk too. about him because of his guessing. When he guesses the last That's names... Yeah. Whew. Yeah, the Lady Gaga need to pay that woman. Mm-hmm. The court already she said she ain't got to, but I still feel like... So next time somebody take your fucking dog, you're not getting them back. Exactly. Yeah. 
Or if anything, like now your word ain't shit, basically to me. If anything happened, you like, oh, I'm gonna just give you this. Nah, bitch. My these my dogs now. What nah. type of dogs are they? And then I'm gonna put them on the black I think market. They were like is, the, are they even worth the Lady damn? Gaga's ex dogs? I got Gaga's. Dogs. I don't know. I'm guessing Gaga like some got, plugs or got some stands shit, out here. Somebody will buy them dogs. You think somebody would buy her dogs? I just know somebody would buy her dogs just because they were her dogs. Put them on eBay. That's, That's why that, that'd be like the same type of person that would try to kill you for stealing Lady Gaga's dogs. Oh, yeah. You're probably right. So you have to watch the motherfucker. I seen it. It had to be like, send the dogs. You know what? <laughs> <laughs> but like, just you could get dogs. any dog and be like, this is Lady Gaga's That's dog. That's true, too. Nobody really knows. I got the papers. No, nah, you got to show the collar, nigga, to let them know that it's real. Listen, man. Fuck them damn dogs. Fuck them dogs. <laughs> Fuck them dogs. She owe that woman five hundred thousand dollars. Hey. What so say you, Chris? Fuck all the dogs. I say no. Why you say no? Because she stole the dogs. She ain't steal the dogs. She didn't steal the dogs. She held the dogs for safekeeping. Somebody else stole the dogs. The dogs were stolen. But I, I know. Yeah. Once they were stolen, she said five hundred. No questions asked. So when things are stolen. So, it's considered so you hot. think people could just say stuff and it it don't mean nothing? Yeah, basically. nah, not yeah, me. All right. So like, if I stole a deer's gun, it'd be hot. So does she have hot dogs? What, bro? That's crazy. <laughs> right there, don't bro. talk about me no more. Yeah, he can't. You been out there yeah. hanging it out? Too, I thought it was <laughs> nine people, but I think it's just a rally. You can't talk about me no more. <laughs> you been no. out here hanging with them people too? I much. tried it. I tried it. Hey, I'm so you stole out there. Hey, see what sticks. Yeah. Who's, when, when Johnny had the big eyes, I'm like, oh, this is going bad. It's quiet. <laughs> like, That's crazy. All right, let's talk about the next thing. A Florida boy, 11, shot two football teammates. That dude was practice. only 11? Surprise, yeah. surprise. That was a big-ass 11-year-old. <laughs> shot two, two teammates out the practice. He's got to be 40. We just showed a video. Be 40. <laughs> Over a bag of chips. Here's Bing. the video. Bing. Bing. It really needs to be a video this time. Cause I'm a, they're like, what are you doing this shit for? <laughs> I do it to embarrass you. Yes. <laughs> I can that see would that. be true. Hold <laughs> on, oh, watch this, watch this, watch this. So 11-year-old boy, I don't know why they saying allegedly shot too. Like, I, I literally watched it on video. Y'all watched the video, right? Yeah, I saw it. I don't. It was grainy. We're going to say allegedly it just because we don't want to get sued. I saw, but I think I saw the baby. I saw the fucking flash. You didn't see the baby? Mm, that I saw, you know, that boy shot them people. But he shot a Pop Warner. He shot two teammates on Monday night following practice over a fight over a bag of chips. Police said. That's nuts. What type know? of chips? I'm Doritos? guessing Takis. Spicy chili Doritos? Kids, Kids like those Takis. Takis. Kids like them Takis. Kids, Kids like, like the Takis. Takis. Like that Blue right. Fuego Taki? Yeah. Takis are good. Disgusting. I never had Takis them before. are good, man. I don't know if they worth catching a slug on. That's nah, not, not at all. Like, not I don't... Maybe, like, if it was a bag of... Spicy nacho Doritos with chili and cheese from Paul's or something like Damn, that? Damn, that's how specific. Like yeah. if it was a bag of white Hennessy, I could see it. <laughs> a bag of white Hennessy. The, the purple Doritos, man. The sweet, spicy chili, whatever. The ones are. you was eating? The purple ones are the best the, ones. The ones you he was eating at your house? Somebody just said something about that. Yeah, the you right. You, yep. <laughs> yep. Yep. you take a bullet for some for the spicy Doritos? It was a celebrity that was like, it's my favorite chips. Or would right. you want that just to be the bag of chips you was fighting over? No, nah, I just go because you you bag. don't want to be on the news. They like, yo, he got shot fighting over a bag of uh, corn yeah, chips. Yeah, like what? You were like, oh, y'all gonna embarrass me? Especially not Funyuns because those are trash. Like, Funyuns are, you know what? You're crazy. All right, so authority said the boy grabbed a gun from an unlocked box in his mother's SUV and fired towards another teammate. It definitely was unlocked. He knew was. exactly what outside the practice was. complex at Open Lock. Up. He didn't had that thing in his hand before. Yeah, yeah, I was about to say that, but. It does go on to say in this story, too. It says, authorities have not said whether the child's mother will face charges despite oh, the firearm being legally yeah. owned. I don't understand why she would face charges. Because it was unlocked. Box. It's in a car. Like, you don't have to... A, a gun in a car is, is, is locked because the car is what, locked. What charge could stick to her? Because, I mean, it ain't like she was like, go kill With him being a minor, though, she going to have to probably take responsibility for what her son But you did. can teach your kids self-protection, though, can't you? Nigga, that video Wait, didn't look so, like no goddamn self protection. We don't. Well, know. hold on. They shot him in the back. He was running Two away. Things. I understand. That. I'm just talking about like your former supervisor was taking his kid shooting and teaching him how to use guns. No, that's not the same thing that happened in this video though. I don't no, have no problem saying, with you taking your kids to the gun range. Yeah, but he knows he knows how to use it. He knows where it's at. Well, how does that how does that follow his mama's? What I'm because getting because he's at. eleven. He made the decision. So yeah, no. he's eleven. Okay. <laughs> so like here's it's my like thing. if your kid go do something right now, they're not gonna be like, Oh, 
Keenan's kid, you need to pay for this. Gonna say Keenan's daddy and mama need to pay for oh, this. Oh yeah, like you ain't gonna do no time, <laughs> but they definitely. Probably I'm gonna pay a fine you. for it. Yeah, they probably sue right? you. It's for definitely shit deal. happening, and okay. she might do some time. You See, never he, know. If they were, if she, if he went in the house and got the gun out of the house, the unlocked gun, in it's the house, still her car. Yeah, but it, where do you lock up a gun in the car? Glove box. Yeah, yeah, but you don't. That's not required. Like your car is considered a locked space when it comes to a firearm. The only place mm, I know where you, you still put a gun in glove box for is you still responsible for that gun though, whether it's locked up or not. Yeah, but we saw in so the like, video. Even if your gun was in your house in your safe, if your kid go in there and unlock the safe and go shoot somebody, guess what, buddy? Yeah, they might sue. <laughs> Newsflash, buddy. Yeah, like, they like, might sue you about? for the, for like the damages, but you're not gonna get Dude, charged. There's definitely gonna probably be some criminal charges behind uh, Holly, that. For what? Somebody breaking your safe? Yeah, if nothing else, it's just your kid. It's going to be negligence. It's going to be something for sure. I don't know what they would charge a parent with if the kid broke into the safe and stole the gun. Uh, an 11-year-old? Yeah. What would I'm they pretty po- sure. What would they possibly say? Like, we charging you for being a victim of, of a theft? I'm pretty sure that it's a charge for that. I'd like to see And this one. wasn't no theft. Like, he's just sitting. You, she's sitting in there when he's doing it. Yeah, but so when you saw the video, as soon as he reaches in the car, it looks like it comes out with the gun. You see her come screaming from the other side of the car. Yeah. Like, yo, what the fuck? So it wasn't like, That's what I don't saying, know like, what happened, but from the video, I, what I can see, it looks like he to ran to the, the car and knew like my mom's or whatever has a gun in the car and just ran in there, opened the door and grabbed it. And she comes running like, what the fuck is going on? As soon as he fired, what shot I think that parent it. is not going to see no charges from It looked like he was sitting that on the dash, for real. I bet a new on it. Yeah, let's do it. No, no. He got it so quick, it looked like it was sitting on the dash. No, he went up under the seat. You can uh, see him go up under the seat. This boy Chris said it was sitting on the <laughs> dash. <laughs> but I'm like, it's no way. There's no way. That's a tough one, man. So you the prosecutor, you charger? Yes. Damn, what's wrong with you? Negligence. Bro, you crazy. I'm like, and your son's probably going to like McCune or something. <laughs> Is that place still around? I don't know. <laughs> but uh, yeah, what? I'm know. not gonna hit you with the whole whammy because you were, you know, you tried to stop it. You did your best, but I'm like, shit still happened. I don't know, man. Mm. So I feel you- like when I'm in a car, my gun's in the car. I don't. It's not locked away anymore. Yeah, but like I said, like if your kid grabs your gun and goes shoot somebody, you are going to get in trouble for that. I, I mean, civilly, but not criminally. I think criminally. So the law definition is failure to use reasonable care, resulting in damage or injury to another. Do you think she failed to use reasonable care? Yeah. Yeah, because it was unlocked. He knew exactly where to go. Why do y'all keep saying it was unlocked? Even though? if it was locked. Well, he knew exactly where to go get it. And how to yeah, I'm like, even it. if it was locked. And it says, Wait, resulting so, in damage or injury. So you said even if the gun was locked and he still gave. Yeah. Since it was locked. Like, I mean, you no, said you criminally, said, though. You like, saying it was locked. I'm saying, I don't know. It looked like he just reached under the seat to me. He went and got it. No, I'm, I'm saying locked because like a car is considered... Yeah, a locked space. Like that's only if you lock it. But yeah, he was the the, like, the, the door car was clearly, was clearly unlocked because yeah. he opened he it. Was going. It was after practice. He was supposed to just get in the car, take his ass home. But he said, "I'm about to do what I'm about to do," and he went in there and knew exactly where to go get it. Dude, that's I don't know. To me, it's like you have a house. You got locks on your door. Your house is locked, but it's not locked to you because you got access to it. It's still a locked fucking house, but it's not locked to you. Of the car is still, so, a, you know, it's still a locked so car. You but leave your doors if he walks unlocked, up to the car, your car is still a locked place. No, doors unlocked. But say if, if I go put my gun in the car and I lock the doors, but the doors were unlocked. He opened the door because his mom's is sitting in the car, though. Yes, y'all make it seem like for a person to carry a firearm in a car, they need to lock it in the glove Dude, box, and that's crazy. I, we're saying that he opened the car, so it was not locked. Okay. So stop saying it was locked. You presented that it, <laughs> it was, was not <laughs> locked. You told us that it no, was considered a locked No, I'm saying locked in a, in, a, in a sense that y'all said it needs to be in a locked glove box. It doesn't need to no. be in a locked glove box. No, it doesn't. Maybe not lawfully it needs to be in a glove box. But as the owner, yeah. and you know, you don't want your 11-year-old son to grab it and shoot somebody, like what happened, you okay. should probably lock it up. Mm, nah, I can't. Because if not... It's negligent. Just like when a kid shoots a kid at somebody's house because their parents didn't have the gun locked up. They the parents get charged with negligence. But y'all it's saying, always did y'all see that charges. story I said where the, where the uh, three year old shot himself and the, it's and the always daddy, charges. The daddy went to jail for negligence. Yeah, it's always charges. I can't get with that. I don't. 
I'm but because like, you also said your gun. if he broke into the safe and stole it, you Man, that ain't charged. got nothing to do with this though. But you, it, but you charge somebody, it, dude. So like, because it seems like no matter what, you get charged. The only way that that can play out is like, as the parent, you like selling your kid. Like, yo, he stole, he broke into my shit, shot somebody. It is what it is. Get rid of him. Get rid of the kid. Yeah, that's How basically what. Wrong? That's what you <laughs> said. That's basically what you said. Lord have mercy. Nah. I'll say this. <laughs> that's, the, that's what you're describing. I'm going to say this. I'm not with trying to charge a parent who was clearly trying to stop this kid from doing whatever the fuck he was doing. Basically, y'all saying because her reflexes wasn't fast enough that dude, she gets charged. Dude. Because she, because she owns a it firearm. Does, it doesn't matter that her reflexes were slow or whatever you want to say. Something happened. Okay. So basically what you saying, that what? No, okay, so answer me this. So what should happen here? I'm just okay, I'm asking. Answer that. What should happen here? They should charge the kid. With what? Attempted murder. And do what? Where is and that? And I guess go? they sent him to juvie till 18 or 20 or some shit like that. So the kid should go to jail. Oh, yes. What do you mean? And the mama should be scot free. What are you going to I don't understand what you trying to Because that's not how work, the world works. That's why it's a minor. That's why this is your responsibility. That's your why, kid that's is why your I'm asking you, though. Here's my question If she had the gun on her hip, and he just pushed her down and took it off her hip. Would you still charge her? That because be, it was her gun. That would be different. I don't see a difference. Like that would be different because he committed an act towards her first. What's it called when you take something that ain't yours? Definitely. Stealing. All right. Am I wrong? I. They not gonna call it that, bro. They not. They are not gonna call that that. I just have a hard time saying, "Hey, you in trouble because of what somebody else did." When you didn't do nothing wrong. Yeah, but when your kid is the one, is the person, the person that you're responsible for is the one who did something wrong. Yeah, yeah you I, understand, I understand you the fact that they might wrong. say, hey, you're going to be responsible for civil damages because these it kids got doctor bills. It ain't going to be bro. just civil, bro. Like, if, you know, if Johnny went to school and really scratched somebody's knee, they're not charging J Big oh. Johnny with assault. You oh. know what I mean? they like, but if he actually did it on camera, they might be like, y'all got to pay this doctor's bill. Yeah, I don't Johnny for all these stitches, somebody yeah. and shooting somebody ain't the same thing. <laughs> damage is damage, though, man. But uh, yeah, this kid's good, wild. But like, if I scratch you right now and you go tell the police, they're gonna be like, "Get your bitch ass out of here." Nah, if I I'm shoot like, you it's right on now, camera. If I shoot you right now, they're gonna be like, "Okay, go pick him up." Wait, so what do <laughs> you think happened? You gonna charge the son and the mom? They're gonna charge both of them. Chris, what you doing here? Am I doing as who? You the prosecutor. This little nigga got go for sure. They gonna definitely charge him, but the mama yeah. gonna get some of that too. It's gonna be the mama. The kid the is kid? gonna get like juvie though. He's got to. He's you charging have to the kid go. or the who you charging? Uh, so you the said mama. the kid get to walk away? No. Well, I mean, you can only do so much with the kid though. Bullshit. Is he a kid? You can do a lot with a kid. Yeah. yeah. Fuck yeah. They got like but, youth correctional facilities just for that type of stuff. Well, yeah, but that's not like. Throwing him in prison or something, you know, like it's like kid jail, Chris. It sounds like, it sounds <laughs> like <laughs> a fucking PlayStation. Yeah. It sounds like, like she would about? have to turn him in for theft. That's what I'm saying. So she would have to throw. She would, she like, would have yeah. to. She would have to say. So then it, and then it become like do whatever with him. Yeah, it's it's ghosting. That's, ghosting. Uh, what's the name? All over again. We're gonna follow. We're gonna follow <laughs> this thing because me and Johnny got a known her bad, but I'm quite sure they're not charging this woman. What any fucking crime? That'd be crazy. She's too. definitely getting charged. You want to throw a nooner bed on there too? Uh, yeah, two Monaco and a bunk cake. No, just two Monaco. Two Monaco. You want to throw a bed on there? I'm good on this. Okay. The the mama getting something. She just left the gun she on the dash. She wasn't on the <laughs> dash. <laughs> definitely getting something. All right, let's go. Uh, who posted the damn Joe Biden picking cotton shit? I think I did. Yeah, I uh, thought that was pretty funny. So I looked at that it. That is pretty funny. But actually, that was fake news. But whatever, it's still it worth talking about. Fake, fake news, bro. bro. You think they putting that in the yeah, classifieds? Looking for cotton picker. I started looking at it. It was people posting like, "Yo, I can't believe Joe Biden said this." I'm like, oh, "That's what? crazy." There's some people that believe everything on the internet, yeah, bro. I believe I saw a UFO and it was Starlink. We know. So, you know. I yeah. did too. I looked at that. I'm like, "Oh, that nigga heart is broken." Yeah. I'd yeah. rather be UFO. <laughs> but no, so I. I saw people that actually believed it. Turns out it was fake, which, you know, everybody kind of knew it was fake. But it made me think, though, like, would you pick cotton for $300 an hour? Yeah. Did you hear that? Did you hear the numbers? That nigga broke down. <laughs> nigga, you crazy. <laughs> <laughs> 
Boy, eight hours a day. <laughs> Thirty dollars an hour. It says assuming Boy. a forty-hour work week and forty-eight weeks work per mm. year. Oh, they even giving you four weeks vacation. Boy, what? Look, hey. you guys can't go off fifty-two. A gross salary would be five hundred seventy-six thousand. Yeah, get my white ass out there. <laughs> Oh my Boy, god! You better quit playing with me. I didn't move into the top one percent, baby. Hey. <laughs> this reminds me of that nephew Tommy skit where he's like, "We want you to come work with the burlap." I was about to say, "Get a burlap sack in the pants." So, all right. So after they pour the concrete, they put burlap yeah. all over the top of it. He was like, "You ever seen burlap?" I was like, "What the fuck you trying to say?" <laughs> Three hundred an hour. So I guess that's a. That's an easy question. Every right? year. Yeah. Even if you work part-time, nigga, you still do <laughs> Yeah. Every year. So you, don't, you don't have no stigmas or nothing about it. Like, yeah, you know. Nah. Nah. Yeah. The only thing that was bad about it, it was free back then. Yeah. That's how <laughs> yeah. they held against their will. Yeah, that's tough. <laughs> I just that's want to eat chicken and watermelon on my lunch break. Oh, I do that almost every other day. <laughs> every other day. For five, what did they say? Five, five seventy-six. Man. Five seventy-six. You can't Sheesh. tell me shit. <laughs> Boy, I get all They be like, are you eating chicken? What? Man, shut your broke ass up. <laughs> I am stunting on you niggas leaving my job, bro. You nigga, if you do overtime, Ooh. bro. <laughs> I'm not doing no overtime. <laughs> I'm just hour. saying, I'm just saying, that what? rent is crazy. Like, look, I barely do give you 40. If, if, if 450 an hour, though? <laughs> no. 450 an hour for a couple hours? Come in on the Saturday. <laughs> I'm going to come in there and do my hot eight out there. Ah, oh, my head so is tied, boss. <laughs> Jump in the Bentley and leave. <laughs> Jump hey, in the Bentley. Nigga be an Ocean Prime. Pull off my G-Wagon like, where he work, man? He must be a doctor hey, or something. Be an Ocean Prime like, yeah, I'm in Capital Bank. I'm a Capital Ventures. Yeah. What are you? A certified cotton picker. <laughs> I'm certified by the SEOC. <laughs> <laughs> you know the- OSHA. OSHA certified. <laughs> Dr. Umar I wrote them. I can't believe you. Hey, hey. Dr. Umar Dr. kissed Umar, my hey. ass. <laughs> Rolling my chips. <laughs> Dr. Umar fuck around me. I, I know I'm about to say that. He been trying to get that school bill for 20 years. <laughs> 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 get out Dr. There. Umar, David oh, Banner. You better uh, get your ass uh, out. Uh, David Banner, Killer Mike. Killer Mike. And what's, and what's the other dude? What's the black What's the black activist's name? The old dude. Oh, and Cornell, Cornell West. West. <laughs> from uh, Harvard? Yeah. <laughs> but like, now you wait and bring, uh, what's Al Sharpton's ass with you? <laughs> Colin Powell. It'd be a group project, nigga. Nah. Knock it out real fast. Uh, the whole man, field. Don't play $100 me, an hour. Boy. $100. Mm, Still my uh, Turn me up. I still might go. I'm not so there, I mean, where, where we stop at? Like, they say 75 an hour? That ain't enough. Yeah. I'll make 50 now. 75, be like, I can't. My people been through yeah. too much. <laughs> yeah, I can't do it. Hey, give me 100, though. You double my salary, nigga. <laughs> but they do like... <laughs> just give me some gloves. 300, yeah, I'm right. like, look, I'm going to donate to some HBCUs. It's going to be good. Bro, speaking of HBCUs, you seen the meme? You seen the, the picture, bro? What picture? They got the Colorado Buffalo shirt, and a nigga put a go HC. Tried to make Colorado AC, H, HBCU. It's disrespectful. Niggas is out here nigging. <laughs> but yeah, 300, boy. Mm. All right. Yeah, $300. I mean, is there any job you wouldn't do for $300? I wouldn't clean elephant shit for $300 an hour. Really? Nah. I'll be the You pooper. would pick cotton for 300 but you wouldn't pick up I'll shit. be a pooper yeah, scooping ass nigga. Boy. How'd you even get to elephant shit? It's like a That is it's, crazy. Like that's right. it's a meme to be like you think oh. your job is shitty and it's a nigga cleaning elephant $300 shit. $300 an hour? Yeah, nah, I'm oh, not yeah. Doing that. Give me a shovel. Give me a nice shovel. I ain't gonna lie. I, I, I wouldn't be able to do I that. couldn't. I get what? I, I get behind that guy smell that, that elephant Bro, shit. Bro, if you don't give me one of them fucking three in respirators, I mean, yeah. on your lip, nigga. You gonna... <laughs> 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 I'm good. That's the only job. Give me one of them COVID masks. We'll I just went right. there first. You know, fuck that. That's crazy. What about mm. horse shit? I can't do nobody shit. I don't even want to clean my baby shit. Mm. I had to do That's that for valid. free for a long time now. Elephants got big piles of shit? Nigga, they oh, yeah. the fucking biggest <laughs> mammal. What? <laughs> like, mammal like, 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 I would imagine like they shit like little huts, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> me too, nigga. You right. <laughs> I imagine they shit like the size of this door. You know what I'm saying? I mean, yeah, that's, that's a lot of shoveling. You might be right. I don't think I can work in a daycare. 
Ah, for three hundred an hour, I could work in a daycare. Oh, I they think, got it. I honestly think daycare workers are making about three hundred an hour, depending on how many kids they got. In that bad I boy, do the math. I couldn't do it. I Every do kid it. is a certain price. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. I could probably make it like a week before I had to like whoop somebody's kid because the first kid's like, "You ain't my daddy. He ain't gonna do." So I'm like grabbing that little. Oh, I'm in that boy. I'm just, I'm too chill. I'll yeah, be like, I'm whatever. in there, bro. As long as y'all ain't breaking stuff. Because yeah. if you do whatever, then that you know that's when something happens. Some no, kid fall. They like so you ain't even watching these kids. But they you signed a the waiver. Like the kids nah, gonna be kids. Bro. That nah, waiver ain't gonna stop nah, them. Nah, nah, the waiver for three hundred dollars an hour. Oh, we got the mozzarella juice. I ain't fuck with the, them kids. The, uh, uh, graham I crackers. Cocoa melon around that. Oh, <laughs> we turning on Gracie's hey, corner. Hey, we gonna, yeah, hey, we got that melatonin. They taking naps in the middle of the day. They gonna do that anyway. Yeah. For sure. Oh, we want, we gonna play hard. <laughs> kids be trying to hate them now. Not my kids. My I'm kids. Like, bro, y'all don't even know, bro. A nap is the shit. It's now, but yeah, you tell a kid, "Hey, go take a nap." I'm taking a nap. Nah, no, no, my kids. My kids love their naps. A nap is the shit, boy. All Especially right, last... one of them old man naps when you watching TV. Next thing you know, it's six o'clock. That shit fire, boy. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> I'm, I'm striking out today, folks. <laughs> if I take a nap, it's normally like y'all might just lay down for about an hour. Before I no, get, I'm get talking about that later. That joint where I'm watching TV and it is just conked out. <laughs> I don't, yeah, I don't have that. You don't never just fall asleep. That's oh, my, my name is Lindari. I program everything. No, I don't be at home hey, watching TV man. like I fall asleep. Oh, my man, robots sleep. crazy. I do. Oh. It started no, for me I did to that go to like bed. Last week. No, I don't lay go. down watching TV right before no. the football. I'll sit down game. if I'm talking like I'm about to lay down. Johnny set my falls alarm. asleep to a screen every night. He I said do. they go to sleep. He said YouTube and he's out. I do. That's crazy. I, it's gonna make the dreams terrible. Dream to you just fine. I had a crazy dream the other night. Do, do tell. tell. Do tell. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. We said that at the same time. I wake up, <laughs> bro. I had a dream because because when I brought home the, the work vehicle. Carla was like, can we go rolling? I'm like, nah. So I had a dream that Carla was like, I'm taking this motherfucker on the wow. speed. And I'm chasing <laughs> Kyler in the fucking Explorer. He is smashing, bro. When you called him, what he said? I never called him, bro. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I can see him taking it. I can I see know. him be like, hey, dad. Yeah. <laughs> hey, dad, I'm going for a spin. Didn't know you was back there the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> that shit was nuts. <laughs> All right, y'all been following this story with the uh, woman, Alyssa McCommon. She's 38. No. She was arrested because she basically had sex with a 12-year-old student of nope, never heard of it until no. right now. This nasty Do explain. Bitch. Fourth grade teacher in Tennessee who was accused of raping one of her former students. He's right. Is now saying that she's He's pregnant right. with a child. <laughs> so it's been in the news. Basically, she got arrested for what she was allegedly doing, and she bonded out. The judge was like, yo... Don't have any contact with any minors that are not your own kids. So now the police so are she's a registered sex offender. She hasn't went to trial yet. It was oh. just she was accused, went to court, got arraigned, bonded out. Judge said don't have any contact with any minors that's not your kids. Now the police are they alleging that basically she got out, then she reached out to the kid over the phone or text message, sent him like they special code or some shit mm. to where she, he knows her and some shit like that. And then she was like, hey, basically, you know, you going you should have did that. You should have told on me type shit. So the police mm. like, wow, this wow. bitch don't give a fuck. <laughs> so they wouldn't arrest her ass again. God damn. But now more and more shit's coming out. And it's kind of fucked up, man, because a lot of times, I mean, teachers, do we know that had kids by these fucking students? I don't females. know, bro. I know Mary Kay Letourneau. It seems like every year you get one of these fucking stories, and these hoes never is, go to jail it, for it, life. It, it is becoming a regular thing. I mean, well, Mary Kay Letourneau, we were still in school when that happened. Is that the one with the, dude with the Mexican kind of, dude? Yeah, okay. Oh, you know, okay. Or Hispanic dude. Yeah. Yeah. So she was initially released on a $25,000 bond. Then she did what she did, and she was rearrested. But she's sending these kids like some wild fucking messages. Like, she told one boy in a text, I have to tell you something that is serious. And so it's huge. more than one kid. Yeah. Uh. She said, I have to tell you something that is serious and huge that deals with you. And this is basically where she was like, I'm pregnant. The kid gonna come out looking like you. Then she tells the kid, basically, I'm just paraphrasing, I'm not gonna read all this. She's like, I'm gonna raise the kid, but just please. Don't tell nobody about, you know, what happened. So she's reaching out to other kids, too. Like, hey, I'm going through some shit right now. Basically, you know, don't you come forward, too. Normally, you know, one victim come forward, they more start yeah, coming forward. Yeah. 
Mike so Jackson. she figures, I'm going to cover my tracks. I'm going to reach out and text these kids. Hey, don't come forward. Hey, you don't hey, come forward. It's Tiger. Yeah, basically. <laughs> hey, so it's a lesson. <laughs> I'm like, when you Eldridge. think about <clears throat> the type of person that'll do this, though, I'm like, this don't seem far-fetched. I mean, the type of person that'll sleep with a 12-year-old is the same type of person that's like, hey, I don't want to get in trouble for this, though. Yeah. You know, that your point? Yeah. <laughs> what voice was that? That's the Alyssa you voice. You heard it. You, That's her? Yeah. yeah. That's definitely him. not her. We got him. <laughs> I don't know how to sound like a woman. So they said, basically, she said during one phone call, I will never text you again. Just please don't say anything. I'm under so much stress, and I'm scared all the time. Hmm. Bitch. So he came forward after that text. Kids been, I mean, she's, she's up shit creek, basically. Yeah. Without, a paddle, she, without a paddle. Without a paddle. It's more like... Uh, Is she really pregnant? I'm not 100% sure. I don't think they verified that yet. But it's kind of like you see in the movies, they're like, hey, we'll let him go and he'll lead us to all the stolen bank bank money and shit. Mm. That's basically what this is. Like, you bonded out and then you started calling all the victims saying, hey, don't say nothing about this while they watching your ass. And they're like, oh, well, shit, this dude's a victim. Yeah, let's bring him in too. So now she's just racking up her counts. Basically, yeah. Mm. Like... Fucking weirdo to me I'm pregnant. I feel like they should give her a death penalty. I'm not gonna lie. Wow. Oh. Just a Yes. A guillotine. Oh, that'd be sweet. Over a little young penis? <laughs> Dude, who said uh who said that? It was uh I can't remember who said, but they said R. Kelly? No. But that's <laughs> basically the same thing. Like R. Kelly, they like he's a monster. That man's in jail for damn near the so rest do, of his do, life. Do you want R. Kelly to get the guillotine? You could have gave R. Kelly the guillotine. And you would have been happy with that. Whatever. You know what I'm saying? As long as it's equal. I just feel like when it's oh, a guy, it's video they be proof. like, this dude's a fucking predator. Yeah. Let's throw him oh, in jail. So you just want her to get But with these women, head. they like, yo, you just had this, like that woman that had that kid's baby should never fucking be out again. Mm. Like They got married. I don't give a fuck. He should have married her ass in jail. She I think they got a divorce, they like, but... I know they had the more same kids. story you was just talking about. Mary Kay Letourneau, yeah. like she went to jail, she got out of jail, and I think her and his name was Daniel. I think they ended up getting married and like having a family, but then you know eventually they got a divorce because it was like a thirty year age gap, and what twenty yeah. year old wants to do the same thing a fifty year old wants to do. But I can see that. Yeah, I can see that. But, you want to yeah. play fucking Call of Duty and she yeah. want to play Bridge? Yeah. Like, <laughs> exactly. We talking work, about like baby. 90s, 2000s, so you know, yeah. So you're probably solitary. playing that goal now. Probably. She was playing Hearts. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I don't think they, I don't think they like, uh, I think it I should think be fair equal. too. I, I agree. Uh, you'll see that in a lot of cases though. Like, it don't have to even be something like this. Like, just you think about a dude committing a crime versus a woman committing a crime, and it seems like it's always kind of like it's because they got that fucking way. titties. Whoa, is that sexist? I mean, it's I On think the court it's a system, fact. Yeah. Oh. I think it's a fact. I feel like uh, when it's a dude committing that crime, the terms to describe him or whatever seem to be a little bit worse than it is to describe if Whoa. a woman did that same thing. Y'all trying to get us canceled, dude? It's I'm like, just speaking the truth. Do y'all remember when they found the? Uh, the little girl's body here in Kansas City, and they were calling her Precious Dumb. My mom yeah. did an interview on the news for that. Yeah, so it turns they they later found out what happened, but her mom's let the like the boyfriend basically yeah. kill the daughter. Well, the boyfriend got life or some shit. I think the mom's got a, a big turn, but it wasn't like you never getting out. So it's always like, oh, you know, we're gonna punish the man more, but like, bitch, that was your daughter. If anything, you should get the worst punishment. Because you were supposed to be the one to protect her. I bet negligence was one of the charges. <laughs> <laughs> but it, it's always like that. They're yeah. always like, oh, this woman did this. And the guy did this. All right, guy. Well, the basic thing is, better. like, I don't think we, in any case that you've ever heard. Uh, I mean, I could be prob- I could be wrong, but I've never heard where the, la- unless it was, uh, what was the shorty that was running her hair, popping everybody? Shantae Watts or something like that. Or Sean- oh, what the, was her the name? Luffy's girl? Nah, she was popping people. She was like, oh, America's Most Wanted for yeah, being a hitter. Chick. Yeah. What was her name? Uh, shit. I don't remember that. That might have been but it. She's like the know, only legend. girl I've ever seen where like when they were describing her or in the stuff that she did oh, where she it was like, fish, it was like negative. Like she's a monster. She's hot. You know what I'm saying? But in most Kansas of the City? time. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. They were like, yo, 
We got to get her off the Take streets. her down when we see her. I what, her. It what, was what Shantae. Was this? this was, was uh, 2008. Yeah. She's a monster. That's what they was calling her. You know what yeah. I'm saying? But like that's like one of the office. only times that I ever remember it, it being like a thing where they describe the woman on those type of levels. Like, But when it's a dude, it's always that. Straight mm. out the gate, he's a monster. He's a, dis- he's a predator. This woman's a predator. I bet you you that's don't see I'm that saying. nowhere in there. My thing you know is, like, you never, I've never <clears throat> heard of, like, a, a male teacher or all these male teachers that was having sex with students, knocking them up, and then, like, oh, we got married later on. You don't hear that shit because that dude don't get out of jail. They were like, you never going home, motherfucker. Mm. Like, nah. Like, orange is your color now, dog. You never getting out. But you hear, like, these teachers, these female teachers that just be like, yeah, I fucked him. Fucked him. Mm. I went to jail for five years or I got probation and went to treatment. Henderson. Shantae Henderson. Oh. That was her name. Really? Yeah, it hit me. We all on a totally different thing. No, we still talking about the same, same thing. thing. I just don't, it don't be fair, but I feel like this bitch is the ultimate predator and I wouldn't mind if they put her down, honestly. Mm. I'm not here to tell somebody's fate, but I do agree with you on the balance. So you think she'll do it again? But, yeah, for sure. For sure. And, and like, if it was like, yo, she was messing with high school seniors, I might be like, it's that's like, still nasty. But, you know, when you up there, 17, 18, you fucking know. It's like a Like, 12-year-olds? Like, nah, bro. Them, like, that's crazy. So what would she do with a two-year-old with two penises? <laughs> <laughs> Chris. All right. <laughs> I don't even fucking want to think about it. That <laughs> boy's speechless. I don't even want to think about it. Hey, when you open your head and just say the man's name, you have no idea. It's time like, of our life. I don't know. Like, because this is she a real, like, sick predator. Like, we're going to call it how it is. She a predator. That's how I feel about it. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you, you hunt that hoe down and put her down hard, mm. as far as I'm concerned. Mm. So you, you don't feel good about it because she a woman, but fuck that. If this was a dude, you'd be like, he needs to die. For real. I got the same energy. Probably because it's more dudes than women. Man, next topic, this. bro. Next topic. So, no, bro. no, let's explore this a little bit. <laughs> what are you talking about, bro? <laughs> it's more dudes doing this shit? I feel like it. At least it's more reported. Sounds crazy. I don't know. It's more male predators. At least that we hear about. I mean, that's we all, don't know. Maybe that's the, the problem, though. Under the, I mean, you know. I feel like you hear like every year you hear a couple of stories about a teacher having sex with a student though. And it's mostly male. No, it'd be women. Most That's women. I hear mostly women. That's what I'm thinking. Most of the time the I hear it's women having sex with students. Besides, I mean, Michigan State, Larry we Nassar, see. sick ass. Who? The dude from Michigan State. That was a team doctor. Yeah. That was fucking with all, all the Olympic. Olympic girls. Yeah. Yeah. And where he at? He ain't never coming home. Ever, ever. But he was old too though. Didn't matter. He ain't got they much gave, time. They gave him a good number. <laughs> they like spin the wheel. Oh shit, 99. <laughs> <laughs> 99 years. Shit, they was about to put Joe Paterno in jail and he was yeah. way old. He knew though. He knew. He covered he knew. that shit up. He knew he was going. He knew it was. Mm, sick motherfuckers, boy. He knew. I tell y'all what. I'm telling. You say I've ever snitched, I'm fucking telling. We ain't gonna hold it against you. I be in that motherfucker with with two five dollar biggie bags <laughs> <laughs> and a uh, uh, frosty. <laughs> they got strawberry frosties now. Pumpkin. Oh, they pumpkin. That yeah. motherfucker's pretty tasty I too. Pumpkin. I, ain't, uh, I, I had one Wednesday. Wait, worse than Wednesday. <laughs> <laughs> hey, bro. It's Wednesday. not a food podcast. Don't, don't tell me that. that. Well, all right. I will go to get that uh, pumpkin concrete from Freddy's. Hmm. Ooh, I like Freddy's. I had a pumpkin donut from Dunkin'. Ah, mm. pumpkin spice donut. Yeah, sound like it's women. that time of year. Everything pumpkin spice. Now. Yeah, that should be fire. Women Turn. go for the pumpkin since, spice. Since I'm confessing, I do have a pumpkin spice cheesecake in the fridge. It's there. Where's your wisdom, man? From is there? Uh, from, uh, what's the name? Trader Joe's. Oh, half mm. of it's there. Johnny's wild for your week. I was gonna say delivered by Kenyon, oh, but he got it. God damn. Don't say that on air. <laughs> Don't say the passcode on air. I'm going to blink. <laughs> Let me just yeah, pass that. Let's be professional, bro. All right, man. Like Words of wisdom this week come from the great Tupac. He's been mm. in the news a lot here lately. Fuck you, Keefy D. 
this nigga look dirty as that. Is, he, is his pants still cool? <laughs> Stole my childhood, bro. All right, man. From Tupac. Sitting alone and enjoying your own company, taking care of yourself is better than being surrounded by fake people. Mm. <laughs> Shout out to a real one. Mm-hmm. Slow clap. One, one more time. One more time. <laughs> one more that time. For people Sitting in the back. alone people and in the enjoying back. your own company, taking care of yourself is better than being surrounded by fake people. Mm. Mm, so let Derek take Bars. himself on a date instead of take somebody else on a date. We go to lunch by ourselves. You know yeah. what I'm saying? All this. Hey, ain't no bunk beds and caskets, man. And I ain't got it's no true. pockets. That's another wow right there. Mm. Ain't no way, boy. Ain't no <laughs> way. Watch your own back. Y'all know what to do, man. We've been telling y'all for almost four years now. Tell a friend, tell a friend, then tell your mama. We about to stay. Ain't cousins, too. A little bit over three. Shit. Boom, out of here. One. <laughs>